Hi, everyone. Today, I am going to talk to you about clues that you can find yourself that might be indicators that your metabolic health is not healthy. My name is Sandy Cruz. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. I'm also a certified metabolic balance coach, and I'm the podcast host of Sandy K Nutrition Health and Lifestyle Queen. Now, Today, I'm going to talk to you about some clues in your blood work that you can look at that might be an indication that your metabolic health is not so healthy. Now, first off, you're going to say, well, what's metabolic health? Metabolic health is actually, I'm going to start with what is metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is when you have issues with glucose you have issues with your heart, you may have high blood pressure, you might see that your waist is expanding, you might be gaining weight. There are many things that kind of go into metabolic syndrome. Typically, in the end, you would end up with a diagnosis of heart disease, a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. And these are really all indications that you're not aging well. And often these health issues come into play right around midlife. They start to happen around age 40-ish or so. And you're not able to eat the way you did when you were 30 or 20. And maybe your habits are catching up to you. So I'm going to talk to you about my own markers. So I always had normal triglycerides. Triglycerides are actually part of your cholesterol panel that you get done. And often doctors don't talk to you about triglycerides. They'll talk to you about your good LDL, your, or actually, no, they're just going to tell you that your LDL is too high and they'll want to put you on a statin. Now, I'm going to start by saying, I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm not telling you what to do, but I am certified in functional lab testing for nutritionists. So I know a lot about this stuff. So my triglycerides were always normal. My HbA1c, hemoglobin A1c, this is a really important marker. I can't stress enough how important this is. If you're above 5.5, 5.5, 5.6, I'm even going to say 5.7, then you have to keep an eye on this. Okay. And the reason is, is because they'll, doctors will often check your glucose or they might check your fasting insulin. And usually it's just a point in time. And often it'll look okay. If you've been fasting, often it'll look okay. Uh, all right. Unless you're really far gone. So this is why hemoglobin A1C is a really important measurement, and I'll tell you why. It is a measurement of how much glucose is actually stuck to your blood cells. So, and it's over a three-month period. It's a really important test. So if your hemoglobin A1C is creeping up, so triglycerides creeping up, hemoglobin A1C creeping up, and then I'm going to give you something that a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of people kind of poo-poo the whole hair tissue mineral analysis, but I'm going to tell you otherwise. And I'm going to tell you that it's a worthwhile test to do because a lot of these um, urine tests, uh, first off, minerals are not great to check in the blood, FYI. The blood is not a good way to check it. So if you're getting blood work for minerals, don't bother. Um, hair is actually a great indication because first off, minerals don't sit in the blood. That's why it's, it's not a great way to check it, but they do sit in your tissues and your bones. And this is why hair is a good indication of what is your mineral balancing like even heavy metals over a three month period, three to six months. So you go, you get it done. I go to a hairdresser and I tell them just to take little pieces as close to my scalp before highlighting, by the way, um, close to your scalp as possible and only use the part that is not highlighted. If you're a woman and you highlight or color your hair, and then you send that off to a lab and it's pretty cheap way of checking. So 
if you correlate high triglycerides, higher HbA1c, and low chromium, this is a perfect scenario for insulin resistance or starting of type 2 diabetes. So I'll tell you my story. And I'm a nutritionist and I'm coming clean with this because the fact of the matter is anything can come up. Even if you're a nutritionist, it can come up and sneak up on you. I noticed about a year and a half ago, I started to gain weight and I was like, what's going on? Like, why am I gaining this much weight? I'm 53 years old, by the way. So, you know, right around menopause. And I just started to gain all this weight. And, you know, my triglycerides and my HbA1c were still okay because I do check blood work every year with my doctor. But then um, all of a sudden, my midsection started to really expand. Like my waist started to get bigger. I'm like, where is this even coming from? And then when I did check my blood work, my hemoglobin A1C went up for the first time in my life. My, um, my uh, what was the other one? Triglycerides went up. And I never had these higher in my life. I had the weight gain. I had the, the belly issue. And the last piece of the puzzle, I did the hair trace mineral analysis or hair tissue mineral analysis. And guess what was really low? Chromium. Chromium is a very important mineral for glucose metabolism. So I actually did my own program, Metabolic Balance. If you want to be in on this, you have to get in touch with me. I only take one client a month. And um, I lost 4% body fat. My triglycerides went down. My um, hemoglobin A1C went down by 4%, 4% just from um, a 4% fat loss. I actually had a 4% overall body fat loss. So, and I did it quickly, like maybe a year had gone by when I realized I had a problem and I needed to address it. So I wanted to come on and talk to you about how you can look at trends in your own blood work. If you are seeing your midsection expand, I want you to go and check what are your triglycerides doing? Don't worry about your cholesterol, worry about your triglycerides. And I want you to see what is your fasting glucose, fasting insulin, and what is your hemoglobin A1C? And then you can also do a hair tissue mineral analysis. And do not ever, if you start to see these trends happening, and I'm not giving you medical advice here, I do not diagnose, cure, or heal disease, but I'm going to tell you that you can reverse this because I did. I did. You can reverse the trend of weight gain. You can reverse the trend of insulin resistance. And all you have to do is figure out the right way to eat for you. That's it. You can also reverse your triglycerides. You don't have to go. And first off, with, with uh, cholesterol meds, I actually have Dr. William Davis, who's going to come and talk on my show about cholesterol. And he's a cardiologist. So I want you to do those things for me. And then... If you need help in figuring out how to um, really eat for your body and to repair, and I'm not supposed to say repair, although food is medicine, and I am going to say that. If you really want to address some of these issues, then you can come and talk to me. Um, I do take a client a month. I do help people to reverse some of these um, potential issues and you can get in touch with me. And if not, definitely follow my podcast, 
Sandy K Nutrition Health and Lifestyle Queen, where you really learn how to optimize your wellness and age better through alternative ways, through biohacking, through many different ways of just taking charge of your own best health. Email me, sandy at sandyknutrition.ca. And let me know if you have any comments or questions. I'd love to hear them.